Hi guys, this is Grace and this reading will be a guidance for you right now reading. Um, sort of like a life path where you're currently at and what to expect. Okay, so I have three cards here. Card number one, card number two, and card number three. Look at this card and pick what you're most drawn to. This is for card number one. Card number two. Card number three. Okay. I'll read the past, present, and future. And what to expect in love and career in this reading. Okay, so if you pick this card, here's your reading. Let's start. Let's start. Pass. Okay, this will be the pass card. <sighs> Got the Five of Cups in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Hanged Man. What happened in the past? You got your heart broken. Um, but you didn't hold any grudges. You know, you were devastated. Obviously, you were depressed, devastated, all that. But you didn't hold any grudges. With the Knight of Pentacles here. And now we have the Hanged Man in reverse. Obviously, this has caused you to be more careful in connections, in relationships. If this is about career, it might be that you've been broke. But, and you were disheartened, but you didn't give up. You become more careful with your investments. Maybe because um, this happened because you were careless and you were impulsive. But with um, what happened is that you've become more, you know, careful with your investments and you want to invest little or you will only want to invest, you know, um, the amount of money that you're not afraid to lose. Okay. You've maybe you've invested so much, you've given so much and, you know, you were heartbroken because of that in terms of career as at the same time if this is about love you were heartbroken you've given everything and maybe you didn't give enough for yourself okay and i'm also seeing here that it could be the case that you've been um who you've been in love with it was your was a best friend or was a friend and it's sort of like ruined the friendship at first or i don't know it may be not ruin the friendship entirely but you know obviously at first what happened was this made the connection with with the, with, that, with that person awkward okay maybe you've been rejected or like it didn't work okay you both tried it didn't work but either way, you were heartbroken. Whether this was in love or whether this was in career. But now, yet you didn't give up. You're invest invested still. But you take your time. Now you're taking your time. 
and with the hangman here in reverse um you've learned your lesson you gain a different perspective okay I'm also saying that for some of you, you met another person <laughs> that has helped you heal. That have ground um, that helped to ground help this person helped to ground you. Okay, so helped in your foundation and stability, whether this is in career or this is in love. Okay, so take it however it resonates for you now. What's happening in the present moment now? You got the page of wands reverse. You got the four of wands. We got the hermit with the four of cups reverse. So what's happening in the present moment? If this is about love, let's read it with, if it's about love. Now, if I'm going by the scenario where, you know, you've been in love with this person and there was like a breakup or a separation for some of you you've been in love with a friend or a best friend and there was a awkwardness that has happened I feel like you had to move away or maybe your person had to move away or have you have to have that space with you were not happy about it but you have to have that space to be able to you know start over again and whether whoever this person is whom the separation has happened or the devastation or the rejection whoever that person is there has to have um right now there is a space between the two of you and that's like a necessary space that has happened. Now with the four of wands here. This might not have worked out with this person. But I feel like in other aspects of your life, you're thriving. Okay, maybe for some of you, you're not didn't focus so much on relationship. Now you focused on your taking your time and focus on your career and now you're thriving in that area and now you're opening your own you know business maybe or you're just thriving in your career you're having some sort of recognition and you build some foundation that would really last for a long time it's like you're building an empire here now still about love I, I, I'm getting those two mixed up, but um, i try my best to read it. Now, it's still in terms of love, there have been some offers. Um, but I feel like you've taken an, uh, your um you've been in a hermit mode so you wanted to be alone you wanted to be alone and reflect before getting into another connection now if you were in a connection and you had this um, disagreement, misunderstanding with your person and you were in a connection and you're still together, maybe there, maybe you had to have this space at the moment 
and you have to focus on other things in your life and you have to have your own space and be on your own right now. Maybe it's that. I still see that um, there are other offers, like there are other people that wants to, if you're still in a relationship, wants to get in the picture, if that makes sense, okay? Maybe they think, you know, oh, they're having problems in their relationship. Maybe this is, this is our chance. This is my chance. Something like that. But you've, um, you've rejected all the other offers. You, you don't, you don't really care for that. Okay. I'm just saying here, maybe you're attractive and all that. And people see this as an opportunity, but you just want to be on your own right now and want to reflect. Now, in terms of career, if this is about career, you've taken the non-traditional route in terms of your career, and and because of that, I st I still see that this is um, the card that a positive card that you're thriving or you're building starting to build the foundations maybe you've taken an untraditional route and because of that you've been recognized but right now you're still in a deep reflection whether are you fully happy with this new path that you've taken in your career or not Okay, it's like with the four of cups here in the hermit I'm, I'm just getting that you're still in between two worlds the two worlds is like the past and the, the present moment where you're at. Do you want to go back to the old ways or you want to keep the momentum on, on, this, um, on this present moment, on this new thing? Okay, are you happy with the choice that you made? I see people recognizing you. It's like just because other people recognizing you and they're ha and are happy for you doesn't mean you're happy with what you've decided for yourself so that's why you're in it in this deep reflection now what to expect in love and career what's the future card here six of cups reverse the tower card I feel like this tower could be prevented since it came out like this. Like it's not that you're not fu you're fully out of control. So if I if I read this in terms of love, what to expect in love? I'm getting the six six of wands here. Okay, I'm getting a different um scenarios in my mind, so I'm trying to see which one really six of wands here in reverse because i'm hearing like um if if you're really meant with this person you'll find your way back to each other okay especially if you're in, already in a relationship with this person um it, it, you'll find that you know in the end, this is going to work, even though other people are not a fan of this connection. I see that whatever did not work was meant to be destroyed anyway, so that you can create something new in this connection. I also see that for some of you, you'll, you'll find your true soulmate, okay? 
you were devastated by this you had to have a space and you'll be able to find your true soulmate the this disconnection in the past um that was made that has made you be careful into relationship um in relationships in the present moment this that's what that was um meant to that's that wasn't meant to last anyway and you'll find another soulmate so take whatever resonates i know the messages are different for different people because i'm getting for if you're already in a relationship with this person and you've had this you've taken some space with this person i feel i feel like if you're really meant with this person you find your way back to each other again and it will work out in the end at the same time if this connection didn't work out and you were not in a relation relationship with this person um i feel like you'll be able to find your true soulmate and that connection wasn't meant to work anyway with the knight of cups here in reverse you had to take a break and you had to focus on yourself I'm saying if you're in the in you're in a relationship, you both had to focus on your on yourself. You both had to have that self love. But I feel like you still have feelings for each other, if there was a separation of some sort. I also I'm also getting that you know if this didn't work and you were not in a relationship with your, with your person um, with the scenario that I'm seeing here that you know that that connection was meant to break anyway and you you'll find your true soulmate I'm seeing here that that happened because um, you didn't give enough to yourself and that connection was codependent and it was not healthy so that's why it was meant to break now in terms of career what to expect in career if i'm reading it as a, as a career reading People might not recognize you at first, but don't be disheartened in your in the career that you've chosen. You are meant to be a way shower and break the old pattern or break the old behavior. Maybe like your ancestors or your like parents have always believed that you have to work, work, work and be employed. But you've paved a new path for yourself. Maybe you want to be an entrepreneur and or you want to change how you do things. You, you're a way show when you're breaking those old patterns. And... I feel like you don't have to answer to these people and you ha if you need a break you have to take a break because I'm seeing here there's a possibility of you becoming overworked and drained so keep moving forward but take breaks if you have to. The Knight of Cups here in reverse. Now, what's the advice for you? I'm hearing, you know, um, with whatever decision that you're making, you have to do it with integrity. What you want wants you. And what else? I 
and love. What you want wants you and we have love. Loyalty. I'm hearing like um it's important to be loyal to others but it's also important to be loyal to yourself and love starts from yourself and if you're single you'll find this is a sign that you'll find your true love so don't be disheartened And you're manifesting something. What you want wants you. Whatever it is that you're manifesting, the more self-respect that you have, the more you raise your vibration, the more you're going to attract this, what you want. Like, in terms of career, if you want something and you love to do something, there's a reason why you want that, that one thing and you love that one thing because... You can want to be anything. And I, excuse for the sirens outside. Um, what I'm trying to say here is that, for example, you want, um, you want to be a nurse, okay? <laughs> If, for example, you want to be a nurse, you can be anything. You could be a radiographer. You can be a occupational therapist. Why you want? You can be a care assistant. Why do you want that one particular thing? Why do you want to be a nurse? And it's because it's part of your path. So there's a reason why you want something, even though it might feel unachievable right now. So I don't know if I'm explaining it properly, but there's a reason why you want something and you should not give up. I also got these two cards for you. Everyone's a teacher. And letting go. Everyone I cross paths with is a teacher in that moment. The ones who give me the fun lessons are the ones I call friends. The ones who give me the hard lessons I sometimes call a-holes. They've chosen a tough job, but someone's got to do it. So today, I'm thanking all the a-holes. Thank you, a-holes, for playing your part and making me a better person. And letting go. I don't dwell on bad things that happened. I let things go because I have enough heavy things to carry around. And also, grudges aren't a great look. Okay, so I leave it. I leave this um this reading at at that. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this. Okay. What to expect next on love and career. And bye. If you want a personal reading. The link will be in the pinned comment or description box and you or you can also email me and yeah. So for the people pick card number two. If you pick this card, let's see.
what happened in the past. I'll read the past, present, and future. Knight of Cups. Very proud moment. Eight of Pentacles. The moon also wants to come out, so I'll take it out. Okay. In the past. I'll start with career here. Okay. But I'll read both career and love. Try to interpret it in both ways. Now, with the Knight of Cups here, I'm seeing you had your proudest moment. It could be like a graduation for some. Okay, it could be like someone receiving an award. Someone finally starting their own business or someone finally getting a job. That, that proud moment, okay? So because of that, you've worked hard. You've been inspired to work hard and being very focused and doing, you know, Doing everything, all that you can. For this career. And you've reached a sort of a unknown. Which made you move. Or like you reach a point where you have to move and like go somewhere else change um it's, it's going somewhere else going to a sort some a destination or something like for example like in your job or career you get destined on on a different um, branch something like that and it's it's it was very unknown okay but you try your best to be um, clear-minded about this. I don't know the proper, proper, the most proper term for that. You try your best to be um, to stay calm despite everything. Now, if I read this in terms of love, you've offered love and I feel like it was accepted and you were inspired and you worked hard for this connection. But maybe someone was leaving if you're concerned about love, this is your reading. Um, someone was leaving or someone has to leave. Or maybe there is a long distance here that makes the future of this connection uncertain. Okay. So whether you... Yeah, whether you're in a connection or you're in a relationship already with this person. That's what I'm getting. But either way, the love was accepted. If you are single, though, I'm getting that you were just inspired by this person to do. You were inspired by this person to make yourself better, make your life better. So that you two could meet again, even though the, the future was uncertain with this person. For some of you, if you don't have a person in mind, I'm just getting that you don't want to focus so much on love at the moment. And you focus on yourself, on your career, 
even though the future is uncertain, you don't want to worry about love so much. So that's what I'm getting. Now, in the, in the present moment, what do we have in the present moment card? This is, this is interesting. When I read it different, we interpret and read the cards in different ways. It just gets stored of different scenarios. What's in the present moment? Was there still uncertainty? If I read it in terms of career, what's happening in the present moment? I've got the Five of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Reverse, and the Eight of Swords, Reverse. Now, okay. I feel like what wor what's worrying you right now is that the the success that you once have that you had is it going to be for long term? Is it going to be long term? And I feel like you planted something, you started this new beginning and you don't know yet what's going to be the the result of this. Is it going to be fruitful or not? Is the seed going to grow or not? Obviously, you cannot like keep checking on the seed or keep digging the soil to check the seed unless you're going to kill the seed. If you do that, and it will not grow, never. So, I guess you're just worried about the uncertainties. And so this is a self... Whatever this is worrying you, it's a self, it's self-inflicted. It's like you imprison yourself in your own mind, in your own thoughts, and you're expecting, you're trying to prepare yourself, expecting the worst case scenario. Okay, just in case it won't, it, it doesn't work out in your career, you're expecting the worst case of scenario, and you're trying to devise and think of like, um prepare and think of um um what's the plan b what's the plan b on this just in case it won't work now if this is about love in the present moment if your concerns it about is about love um If you're already in a relationship, there might be a distance here and um, you're having doubts. You know you don't you know that you shouldn't doubt because this person already accepted you and already you're together, but like um, it's I guess it's normal for you to have some doubts from time to time and <laughs> I feel like that's that's what's happening here. And I feel like you can trust your person. It's just that you're based on your past experiences. It's it's making you doubt your person. Um whatever you're doubting right now, I don't feel like it has any concrete evidence. Like it's it. Uh, I don't feel like there's anything concrete here for you to actually doubt your person. Now, what else?
Yeah, I feel like there's just this feeling of like, what if they find someone else, someone else is better than me? Obviously, there is always going to be someone that's better than you. or you, And you'll always be like better than someone else and there's always going to be better than you. But there's only one you, okay, in this world. If you are, I feel like that also applies if you're in a connection with someone. If you're single, I feel like you're pre preparing for the worst case scenario that if, what if you've never, you'll never find someone and that you're preparing for the worst case scenario. But I'm also getting that you you're just overthinking things, okay? Because I'm I'm getting like you you're very successful, and anyone that has that has given you an offer you've rejected because your standards are high, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. As long as your standards are not unrealistic, okay. Maybe you have to think if your standards are unrealistic. But I feel like for most of you, your standards make sense. Okay? If you're a successful person, sometimes it's not easy to find another successful successful person. Obviously, you want to be with someone that is a match with you. Okay? So... There's some concerns with that. And you don't want to let other people to choose the partner for you. You don't want to be for it to be like, for example, an arranged marriage or something. Now, what to expect in love in the future and also in the career in career. Seeing success here. Yeah. Leaving the old ways behind. So let's first read it as a career. In terms of career, I feel like you'll find people that you can trust. And I'm also getting this is a time for celebration. So, um, your hard work will be paid off. You will make some decisions where you need to... Um, I'm getting like hard decisions where you need to cut people or like... For... F <laughs> it, it's some hard decisions because you need to make some decisions where for the good of everybody this is um what i'm trying to say is like you need to make some sacrifices for the good of everyone everybody but i'm seeing here that you'll thrive and there's some celebration there's something to be to celebrate in this in in your career After that, though, what I'm getting is that um, even though you succeeded in this career, you might go on a soul searching again and go and change and go on a different journey. You might feel like um, that you've served your time. And when you realize it's not growing anymore, like you've, it's like you've done your purpose and now you go, you're going to seek on to go on to another journey. That's what I'm getting with this. 
or change career or change business, something like that. There's a possibility of that. Um, what's next? Obviously, your decision is not it's not gonna be popular, okay? These people, this career or business might not want to let you go, but and you might feel defensive. But you'll be faced with the choice, and I feel like you're gonna be make the. You just need to trust yourself, and I feel like you have to stand your ground here. There will come an opportunity where you have to stand your ground. Now, if we're reading about love, and you're already in a relationship with your person, or you're you're in a connection. I'm seeing here the importance of having friends and the importance of freedom and you letting your person spend time with their friends and your friends and, and your person letting you spend time with your own friends. Like, even though you have a healthy connection with this person, you have to have a friend like another friend like what if you need to like you there's nothing wrong with like having your person as your best friend but at the same time what if you need to vent about your person are you gonna vent vent it out on your person if you've got any if you need advice about your person do you do you get the advice from your person obviously you need to have another friend will you get advice from that friend if that the issue is about your person but there's nothing wrong with your person being your best friend if that makes sense so the importance and the balance of having your own time with your friends and having your time with your person will make this connection stronger And will make you both resolve issues better. Now, if you're single, what's the possibility here? I feel like the advice here is to continue to go out of your comfort zone or go out and meet people and socialize because I feel like you, there's a possibility for you to meet someone through friends, through socializing. Now you could try it with this person and this person might not still meet your standards but I feel like when you were not expecting it, when you were not thinking about relationships anymore or giving pressure to yourself about relationships, I feel like that's when it will all work out for you. When you're not thinking about relationships or connections anymore and needing to be in a relationship, if that makes sense. You need to like, you know, be more carefree, be effortless. That's the advice that I'm getting for you, okay? In general, what's the advice for you? Third eye chakra in reverse and... From the affirmator card in general what's the advice for you is forgiveness and divine timing don't force anything to happen prematurely trust in divine timing be at peace be effortless 
okay don't force anything everything is timing and timing is everything gladly i release my concern over timing and let things happen when and as they will i trust that the divine schedule makers know what they're doing i can think a long i can take a long time to reach divine middle management see that's what i'm trying to say here um third eye chakra and forgiveness Congratulations, you've, you're being given one of the most powerful super superpowers there is, forgiveness. Imagine that you've been beaten by a radioactive um, forgiver. The point is, you suddenly have the ability to forgive people for their flaws, their bad days, their unkind moments, and their mistakes. And the best thing about forgiveness is that you can apply it to yourself too. Have fun wielding your new power, but remember... With great forgiveness comes great inner peace. Okay. Let's see, let's see. And also we have the third eye chakra reverse. Now, what's the third eye chakra about? The third eye chakra is about... It's about guidance. It's about visualization, manifestation. It's about connecting with your intuition, trusting in your guidance, your, yourself. It's about your mind. It's about seeing clearly. And it's about being present in the moment. So which areas of your life where you need to be more present? Because I feel like that's the issue here. Because in the present moment, there were some uncertainties. There were some worries. Because, um, but if you focus so much on the uncertainties and worries, you won't be able to see what's in the present moment. Like, just enjoy what's in the present moment. But it's also telling you to trust yourself, trust your gut. Um, some people might not, you know, it's like, you don't have to be liked by everybody. Not everyone will like your opinion. I mean, you don't have to be liked by everybody because not, not every, not, you don't like everybody anyway, if that makes sense. So you don't have to be liked by everybody or you don't have to be supported by everybody but the most important thing is that you trust and you support yourself. And forgive yourself for your past mistakes. Also forgive other people from their shortcomings. And you have inner peace. So that is your reading. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know. Um, this is like still new to me. I'm still trying to read this with this with this spread. Let me know, give me a feedback or if this works, this spread works, or you it's if this is effective for you, if you're getting something out of it. Yeah, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you want a personal reading, the link will be in the pinned comment or description box. Bye. Okay, so for the people who picked the third card, this card would um, Jihiro. Let's start. So, your past card. I'm going to read the past, present, and future. I'm saying that you're the kind of person who've got some rough edges roughened by experience, but you're still remaining stable. Like you've got so so some cracks, those rough edges, but that made you more stronger and stable. What has happened in the past? And so we, so that we can read what's gonna happen in like past, present, future, for love. If that's if you're concerned about love, and also for career, if you're concerned about career. So we got the seven of wands in reverse. 
we got the fade page of cups and we've got the nine of swords with the four of wands so in the past you were concerned about um home home so first i'm gonna read it in terms of love You were in def defensive in, in terms of your relationships or in your past romances, you know, whether you're, you've been in an actual relationship or it's, it was just a connection. You were, um, you've been defensive, be very protective of your heart and yourself. Even if you've been in a relationship, you weren't be, be been able to fully open up because um, of the past experiences or trauma you've had from your childhood from home okay from your home life whatever has happened in your home life whatever was lacking in the home life um it has you've been projected projecting it in your um love experiences okay so for example if there's an abandonment issues then there will be abandonment issues in your um in your relationships because of the abandonment issues in the childhood okay mother issues father issues and all that and you know in yourself what your issues would be but you know that it's, it's affecting you being able to fully open your heart now whether you're in a relationship or whether you're single i feel like that applies to both um Um, there's this aspect of not being able to fully open a heart now in terms of uh, or not fully open up to your person if you have a person now, now if you're if i'm um, concerned about career if we're reading this in terms of career i feel like you didn't have a um A mentor you didn't have a figure to look up to in terms of career so you have to figure things out on your own you have to learn and figure things out on your own because you've gotten you've got no mentor or someone to look up to in terms of career like that someone that is in your personal circle in your life okay maybe you have like people to look up to but it's you don't personally know those people if that makes sense so you have to pave your own way go on your own way um you have to rely on your own inner guidance in the past but i see that you oh, you have this talent Maybe you have this talent and you you know you could earn some money because of the talent, but you haven't really, um, you've been hesitating whether to make it into a business or earn money from it or not. Or, because I feel like you're afraid if, if you've, you do this passion and you be and you start earning money from it then you that you're going to be pressured and that it's going to be doing it will not be fun anymore because of the responsibilities because you have to earn money from it like if you make your passion your business it, it feels like you'll be drained or you it won't be fun anymore if that makes sense so you were worried about that in terms of a pre the present moment we got the three of swords we got the nine of wands in the reverse this is quite heavy feelings we got the eight of cups this is um this um misunderstandings or If you're in the connection you have like misunderstandings from your person and you're not talking to each other 
in if, if I'm starting and reading this in terms of love. So in the present moment, there is some misunderstanding. If you're in a relationship or you have someone in a connection with someone, you're like not talking, not looking at each other. Like I'm just seeing these two people not looking at each other, not talking. This one was hurt, but this was, um, whether it's you or your person, this person was hurt. Someone in this connection was hurt, but they're not expressing that they were hurt, okay? They're just enduring everything. And the other person was like a bit dismissive because I feel like in the, when there's issues and problems, this person just run away from it, whether it's you or the other person. So not, nothing is resolved because of that. There is this um, you can you cannot just keep this issue hidden on the surface forever because it's like it's like boiling on the surface. And there will come a time where you know it will overflow. you know when you're boiling something there will come a time that it will overflow. And I feel like this is like emotions and feelings and um, resentment, okay? Because someone is like, I feel like this person is like being a martyr about this. And it's um, how, with how things are happening at the moment. And, but all you've got to do is be vulnerable and be open with each other. That's what's locking. And if you're single and you don't have a person in your life, you're not facing the pain that you need to face. And in, you know, like when you when we have this hurt or pain, we've encountered pain in our in our lives, whether it's from childhood or past relationships or trauma. We need to face that, feel it, and release it, and integrate the lessons. And I feel like if you're single, you're avoiding that. And because of that, you're still not able to be open and vulnerable with someone, with people, with another person, to be fully intimate with someone. It's only like surface connections that you can offer. This continues, this cycle, I feel like continues in the present moment. It's has it's it was in the past and it's still continuing in the present moment, and yeah, there's just an avoidance with the eight of cups here. Now, what to expect in love or career based on that? We got the eight of swords. Ace of wands. And uh, the moon in reverse. Well, if you don't change your ways, it's like you're imprisoning yourself. So if I'm reading this in terms of um, love, okay, let's continue on that love thing. If I'm reading this in terms of love, you're imprisoning yourself for new opportunities, new relationships, because you've built these walls around you. Though I'm seeing here that there will be someone that will challenge you if you're single, you know, that I feel like there's just someone that will challenge you. And I feel like <laughs> this person has some tricks there. Um, I don't know, maybe they'll find a way to um, challenge your boundaries that you built. You know, you challenge your walls that you built. And you will be uncomfortable because, like, you've got your boundaries, you've got your walls up, and, like, this person challenging your boundaries you'll be very, very uncomfortable. So be prepared prepared for that. And it will be like new territory for you. 
I don't know what's with this person. Maybe they're attracted to you. I'm seeing attraction here with the Ace of Wands. But they see you as a challenge. So someone who wants to challenge you, wants to... Uh, maybe it's like, it's a karmic thing because you've got to face your this walls in one way or on, or another like the universe won't let you continue being this way being stubborn so this person maybe is put in your path to be able to really challenge you this person will learn a lesson from it and you'll learn a lesson from this person like vice versa and it will feel like you're it's a new territory it's so unknown for you you don't know how to react so that's a heads up for you. Now, if you're in a connection, if you have a person or you're in a relationship, I'm seeing that I'm seeing that you have to you have to talk first thing. Um you have to talk. That's the most obvious thing here because I'm seeing there's little to no conversation here. So you have to talk. Communication has to happen. You have to make it happen um, to be able to see some changes in the connection. Now, that won't guarantee that it will be successful, but that will keep the momentum, um, um, give some momentum to this uh connection for it to move forward because i'm seeing this st stuck energy here in this connection with this person or in this relationship so for a change to happen someone has to talk okay if you talk i feel like you you have to do it you're the one that's watching this if your person tried to talk to you I feel like, um, I mean, you still want to be, have your whole walls up, but you have to be, to listen, to be receptive instead of being defensive. Because if you're reacting instead of listening, then it will make it worse. You're only reacting to what the other person is saying instead of listening to what they actually mean. Okay? Because I'm seeing your person that you're connected with or your person that you're in a relationship with if you're in a relationship isn't someone that is um, very uh, good with using their words so if you're only listening to what they have to uh, if you're only reacting to what they have to say and then they're not good with their words there will be more misunderstandings sometimes you have to also listen to the deeper meaning or like and see if what see if they're taking action if they really mean it what they're saying has to match with their actions okay for some of you i'm seeing that this person might not say much your person might not say much but they might their actions are big they, they they might show it through their actions more. So it's a more action-oriented person. Um, and I feel like there's still care here. You still care about each other. So um, why waste time? Why waste this opportunity to makeup <laughs> so that's what i'm getting here in terms of career if you're here in this reading in terms of career in the future what to expect in career we have okay we still have a lot of unknowns in terms of career but there's new beginning with the ace of wands um The more you overthink this, the more um, you'll have these uncertainties. I feel like you ha just have to... Now is the time to be impulsive. Now is the time to just act on something and not overthink things. 
when you see the opportunity, opportunity that just say, seize the opportunity. That's the message for you. Now, the final cards, the advice. But you will have this opportunity. You will have this new beginning. And you're you're just ask, um, being asked to act on it. So we have peacefulness. And we have action. <laughs> act on it. I mean, can I just drop the mic there? Like action. That's, that's what I'm trying to say here. Obviously, be disciplined and all that. Um... But at the same time, now is the time to act on this opportunity that will come in your career, okay? I know there will be uncertainties, but I'm seeing the, the full card, okay? Some people may think you're a fool for doing that, but the fool is all about taking a leap into the unknown. As long as you have a calm heart and you're disciplined, and you're motivated that's what's important so this is a calm heart peacefulness i have a peaceful tranquil and untroubled heart this is where i choose to spend my time i can bring guests but any person thought or event that brings drama or chaos is not invited my heart is a special property and i'm going to keep it that way so we can all keep enjoying it and i can get my security deposit back so yeah i see that maybe literally dancing or moving or workout will really help you um give you some energy <laughs> and you know you will give you some energy and motivation to to just keep going I will like if, if you feel guided to do that it will help so anyway let me know how this reading resonated for you if it works for you or not this reading style let me know so that so that i can do more of this um your feedback really will really help so thank you so much if you want a personal reading the link will be in the pinned comment or description box and bye